Well, today is the third and last part of our three-part series for this week. And today's tender encounter with God occurred while I was journaling just this past fall. I was journaling out a prayer to God to ask him, should I be going on this upcoming missions trip to a women's prison that's located about two hours south of us? I knew in my heart I wanted to go because I have a very big heart for ministering to prisoners and encouraging them. But also, I knew in my head, I had a very big work project, a women's retreat the week after, that I knew I probably needed that weekend to keep margin. And just in case any last minute things come up, like your computer crashing and losing all your speaking notes and slides and such. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> so, I, email, I, I was journaling, and God gave me three words. Go, freedom, and crystal. So I was just so excited to have such a crisp and clear and concise message from God in direction of what I should do. So I, yes, I should go. I should go find Crystal and tell her about freedom. And freedom's name is Jesus. So I emailed my friend. Yes, count me in. Can't wait. And then a couple weeks later, she emailed me back and said, Steph, uh, I just got the volunteer list because I had to give her a bunch of information about to get cleared to go into the prison. And I'd gotten an email back for her and said, Steph, I just got the volunteer list and you're not on it. I contacted my point of contact and they don't know why. It must be some kind of oversight or something. And what she did not know is that I had lost, my computer crashed. I was in a mental breakdown of sorts. And I didn't go into all of it with her. And all I wrote was, um, I don't know why, but I trust God does. But can you please deliver this message that God gave me when I was praying about the trip? Go find Crystal and tell her about freedom. And I've known Donna now for at least five years. I know she's a great, great woman of God. And she said, yes, you can count on me. Well, Donna and another friend that lives in my um, neighborhood, my friend Kathy, we've been friends for at least 12 years now. They went on that trip and Kathy had contacted me. Uh, I think I was on the way home from the prison trip and said I found Crystal and delivered the message and it was it, it was something it was meaningful to her Crystal and I guess it was also meaningful to Crystal's girlfriend so I was just so delighted you know and it that whole experience just reminded me that God wants us to be conduits, not reservoirs. Meaning, reservoirs means I get information and I just collect it and hang on to it. A conduit, you get the information, you let it flow through you. And so I was not I was never intended to be the message giver to Crystal. It was just to be faithful to give the message to this, the people that were supposed to. So this week, I just really hope and pray your heart's been encouraged to just consider. Maybe you've experienced God in these ways or different ways. I'd love to hear those stories. Leave a comment below and share different ways and encourage you plus me equals we and we can encourage each other to consider God in different ways. So God does speak through dreams. God does wake you up with an urgency to pray. God does speak through journaling. And I just want to consider that God will continually to continue to speak different ways to different people all because he loves us and desperately wants our heart so i hope this series encouraged you and i'd love to hear your stories please leave a comment below i hope you have a great day and i'll see you next time